Compact Fluorescent Light Bulbs, or CFLs. We've all seen them, those funny little squiggly things. While up front they may cost more than their old incandescent cousins, they use far less electricity and last 10 times longer, therefore actually save you money in the long run. So why is it that CFLs only account for 10% of light bulbs in use today? Well, the first answer is quite simple. Americans suck at math. But the other answer is far more serious. Mercury. That odd liquid metal which used to fill our thermometers, and is known to be highly toxic even at low levels, is a required ingredient to make CFL shine. Sure, incandescents may cost more to operate, but they don't contain mercury. So which is it? Which is the better bulb? Now, I'm not going to argue that mercury isn't bad for the environment. It is. And I'm not going to argue that small amounts of mercury are okay. They aren't. So then, incandescents are better, right? Let's run the numbers and find out. A typical 13-watt CFL will last around 10,000 hours, and over that time will use 130 kilowatt hours of electricity. The equivalent incandescent is 60 watts. You'll go through 10 of them over the same 10,000 hours, using a total of 600 kilowatt hours of electricity. Now let's imagine the worst case scenario, meaning you're using a first generation CFL, which contains four milligrams of mercury, unlike newer bulbs, which contain half that. And when the bulb finally does blow, you don't recycle it but instead simply toss it in the local landfill so all that mercury finds its way into the environment. On the CFL side, we have four milligrams of mercury in the environment, and on the incandescent side, we have zero. So we're done, right? Not so fast. See, the electricity to power those bulbs has to come from somewhere. If you live in the United States like I do, 48% of our electricity comes from burning coal. So to light our CFL, we need to get 62.4 kilowatt hours of electricity from coal, and for our incandescent, we need to get 288 kilowatt hours of electricity from coal. So, well, coal contains mercury. Coal has a thermal energy of 6.8 kilowatt hours per kilogram. But since coal-fired power plants are at best 40% efficient, each kilogram of coal will provide us 2.7 kilowatt hours of electricity. So now we can convert each light bulb's electricity usage into kilograms of coal. To light our CFL for 10,000 hours, we'll need to burn 23.1 kilograms of coal. And for our incandescent, we'll burn 106.7 kilograms of coal. So how much mercury is in coal? On average, across the United States, there is 0.17 milligrams of mercury in every kilogram of coal. Taking into account that 35% of all mercury produced in the burning of coal is captured at the power plant, lighting our CFL will result in the release of 2.6 milligrams of mercury into the air. But lighting our incandescent for the same length of time will result in the release of 11.8 milligrams of mercury. So worst case scenario, meaning you don't recycle your CFL after it dies, you will be responsible for 6.6 .6 milligrams of mercury released into the environment per 13 watt bulb. But using the equivalent incandescent bulb for the same period of time will result in releasing nearly double that amount of mercury. Now, neither option is perfect. Our long-term solution must be to move towards cleaner forms of electricity, such as wind, solar, geothermal, and tidal, and towards even cleaner forms of illumination, such as LED light bulbs. But in the short term, today, when we get nearly half our electricity from burning coal, and incandescent and CFLs are generally our only options on store shelves, there is clearly only one winner. CFLs are cheaper to operate. CFLs result in less carbon dioxide being pumped into the atmosphere. And CFLs result in less mercury being released into the air.